Mind and Mentality Edition 5. Uh, I'm at the, one of the Southern California beaches out here. And uh, basically, I'm going to be talking about uh, something that's really important to me. Now, uh, the Asian culture, Chinese people, Vietnamese people. Uh, I'm going to try to get down into detail about it. Now, first off, I'm Chinese. Uh, something uh, that's been happening uh, for many years now is, for example, I'll go into a Vietnamese restaurant, and the first time I went inside, um, sat, the, got seated by the waiter. The waiter. Uh, I'll go in and eat, and the waiter won't speak a word of English. Now, obviously, I'm Asian, and I don't speak my own language. I'll go in, I'll try to order something. The waiter will assume that I'll speak Chinese or I'll speak Vietnamese, and he'll sit there. And, you know, after a hundred times of this, you know, it gets old, and I'll have to tell him, you know what? speak Chinese and I'll speak Vietnamese. You're gonna have to speak English to me. And he won't he won't understand that. He said not speak English. And I have to sit there and I have to get the manager and then sometime most likely the manager won't speak English. Uh, I can't order my food. I'll sit there and have to point the menu and uh, tell him what I want. And sometimes that doesn't even work. I'm not paying for this. I'm pay I'm I'm catering uh, to the business here and you know they can't even get uh, English speaking waiters I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that's encountered this why am I talking um, about this it's not trivial to me I mean uh, you go into a restaurant you expect to get good service and instead you get somebody that can't even uh, take an order I could do a better job than these people Seriously, uh, am I racist? <laughs> racist towards uh, my own people? I mean, you tell me. I don't think so. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm pointing the, I'm focusing, and I'm putting the telescope on on certain people. This is just what it is. I mean, I'll go in there, I'll order pho, uh, beef noodle soup. And I'll sit there and I'll, I'll try to customize it. You know, uh, well done, no tendons. Same thing every time I can go in the restaurant 20, 30 times, I'll get the same thing. They won't understand what I'm saying, waiter, server, busboy. They need to get somebody in there that will speak English and cater to the English speaking people. English speaking people typically are Caucasian or any other race or nationality that's not Asian or Chinese that doesn't, that doesn't speak the language. That covers anybody that doesn't speak the language. With that said, I don't speak the language. I speak fluent English. Maybe they ought to hire me. <laughs> Seriously, you, you you know how 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 uh, a narrow-minded can you get? You know this has happened about a thousand times. I go into a restaurant at least fifty times, and they still I'm a regular there, and they still don't. They, I have to go through the same process every time I go in there, and I'll point at the menu, and then they don't give me a fork, you know, because I don't use chopsticks. They won't they, they won't give me a fork. Uh, I have to get up, get a fork, sit back down. Every time I go into the same restaurant, every week, <laughs> and uh, they won't even refill my water. I'll have to go up and get, tell the manager or the waiter and get their attention. They look at me with a alienated look like, what do you want? What do I want? You didn't refill my water, you idiot. Are you, can, you're working, aren't you? Are you at home? You know, go 
go over there and refill the water like you're supposed to. And seriously, you, uh, it, no sense of uh, any kind of service. Uh, a manager once told me this is how they do in Vietnam, where they'll sit there and uh, this is typical of what the service would be. But we're not in Vietnam, are we? If you want genuine service, I guess, you, I guess you're going to get bad service, right? Uh, for, for those of you that don't really care about the service, they just come in for the food. I can kind of relate to that, except for the fact that uh, I do care to a point if I get bad service every time. I literally get bad service every time. And I don't have high standards. I just expect to be able to order somebody, uh, men, uh, my, the item off the menu and get an English-speaking waiter. Is that too much to ask? No. <laughs> and I can't even get that. What I expect is below standard, and I can't even get that. I could run a, a better restaurant than these people. I mean, uh, the Asian culture, I've had a lot of difficulties. Uh, I feel like I'm out of the loop in a lot of different things. And this is the insider's view. I'm giving you the insider's view. Listen up, because this is important. You're never going to see this anywhere else. Insider's view of how narrow-minded, dim-witted, uh, you know, uh, the Asian culture would be. I'm going to go as far as to say barbaric because now you can, you know, flame me all you want, you know, the, the, you Asians are watching, you know. I, I haven't lied. Everything I'm saying is the truth. So if I didn't lie and you're still going to get mad, because I'm saying these things, well, too bad, because it's the truth. I'm not going to hide behind the truth because you don't like it. Right? And think about that before you start getting angry and, uh, and, and think what I'm saying is uh, out of line. Because you know what? Everything I'm saying is 100% true. I wouldn't be sitting here lying. I don't make up things. I don't spend my time sitting here making uh, a movie talking about social issues in Asian culture because you don't like it. So think before you uh, open your mouth. Now, uh, my mother used to speak uh, what we call Chinglish, half Chinese, half English. She'll sit there and uh, she won't speak enough English and I won't understand enough Chinese, so she'll half-ass it. Yep, half-assing it. It's like Spanglish. Spanish-speaking people that speak Spanish and English. It's like being Hispanic and not knowing uh, uh, the freeway to Mexico or what Tijuana is. My own culture, I can't, I can't identify with me, and I can't. Most, more importantly, I can't identify with it. It's like being part of the culture, but looking at it from the outside, not the insider's view, and being a, um, ignorant. You know, and I'm not an ignorant person. It's like being, uh, you know, uh, pretty much uh, lack of knowledge. You know, when you're lacking knowledge about your own culture and you don't even speak the language, that's a big problem. It's like living in the United States and not speaking English and being Caucasian and being from here. Imagine if you never, if you didn't even speak English. You know, you're gonna wonder, well. Gee, you know, how come I don't uh, uh, speak uh, uh, English?